Hi, this question came to me a little bit ago and it made me want to explain a little bit about the student's t distribution table. So let's say that you have a hypothesis test set up where the null is mu is uh, less than or equal to 250 and then the alternative h sub 1 is mu is greater than 250. This is going to be a one-tailed test, absolutely, because you have the strict inequality there, greater than. It's not just not equal to, but it's, it's in a direction. So if I were to sketch a distribution here, we're just looking at the greater than, so the, the right-hand side, just this little part here. And so if we have an alpha equal to, say, 0.05, then that's this area right here. So looking on the, the T table then, let's say we have nine degrees of freedom. So let's say our sample size is 10, so N minus, minus one is, is, uh, is nine, for example. And let's say we're using this. Then going down here, we are going to use the alpha for a one-tailed, so we're gonna look at this 0 0.05 and go on down and we get a critical t value critical t value of 1.833 and the question that was asked to me and this was a valid question was well hey what about this 0 0.05 over here the reason we are not using this is because it's not a two-tailed test now some some of the confusion comes with with this confidence interval that's also up here i understand this table's got a lot of stuff going on here and what you're looking at with this confidence interval this part is it's saying if you want 90 percent of the data to be in the middle then then this is the the, the critical t t value there uh, right down this line, or if you want 95%. So the question was, well, wait a minute, if we're using a, a 5% uh, alpha, then shouldn't our confidence interval be 95%? But actually, no, because here's what's happened by, by the symmetry. This is our example here, and if we have 5% on this side, then we could balance that and say, we've got 5% on this side. Now, I know that we are just doing a one-tailed uh, one test, but nevertheless, that is why this middle area is the 90%, which is what uh, falls in, in this column. So you might be asking yourself, well, what about the two-tailed test then? What should we use? Well, just use the alpha that is, that is needed. And then I, uh, the table actually has, most tables will have a little um, description here. If it is two-tailed, then you've got this, this nicely drawn uh, distribution. And, and let's say you have uh, alpha equals 0.05 there. Then this 0.05 is, is distributed, no pun intended, over both of these tails. So what you have there is 0.025 and 0.025. Two, five. Now, still, alpha would be this. So, in this example, this just this right here, you would use would uh, this column. So, there, your your critical t value would be two point two six two. So, there's just a little bit, and I hope that helped to explain a little bit about the t table.